Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, again, my name is Chris, and uh, finally decided to uh, get the name for the channel. It's called GP's Garage. This name after the Jeep. Uh, it's kind of late, so I'm just making a short video, kind of like a, a Jeep walk around. I mean, I kind of went through just a little bit in the first video of my Jeep but this time I can tell you or I'm gonna tell you what I've done as far as a mod for the Jeep so let's go take a look it's gonna be a little sketchy so it's gonna be a short video and then bear with me I'm still new with this thing plus I got a new phone too so we'll see how this phone do uh, let's see this is our family Jeep. It's 2011 Jeep Wrangler Sahara four door. So it's a JKU, the unlimited series. And right now I'm gonna talk about all the things that I've done as far as like from when I bought it up until now. So let's see, we can start from the front. Uh, I have replaced the headlight. Because some of you know the Jeep uh, stock headlights, it's terrible. You can barely see unless you have the high beam. And then depends where you're going, it's still kind of, it sucks. <laughs> so I ended up uh, replacing the headlight with the LED headlights. I bought it from Amazon and honestly I don't know what kind of brand they are. Uh, but it, it works for me. Uh, so it's it's pretty bright I believe it's 65 watts and then I don't think it draws that much power for the battery but it works and what else I put a grill insert kind of like almost like a, a bug deflector it's actually pretty good I like it and I have replaced the bumper so the stock bumper was kind of I don't know, I don't like the look of it, it's plastic, so I end up getting this from Amazon for, honestly I forgot how much the price, but it was actually a pretty good deal I got, and then uh, I painted the the D-ring with red, kind of, you know, match up with the color of the Jeep, and uh, I got lucky because I think the newer style, they don't come with the light, so I just pretty much got lucky on that like I said I don't have to buy another set of light or fog light and now underneath this is I don't know if you guys can see it I there you go I hope you can see it I have replaced the steering stabilizer with the Terraflex brand uh, I like it because the steering wheel doesn't have that much play as it used to be so when you kind of you know turn the steering wheel left and right it's uh it's, it doesn't have that much play that's all i can say so i like it so the next one is it's i don't know again you can see it or not kind of dark it's the fender flares and the fender liners kind of nice actually i mean it's I wouldn't step on it just because I don't think it's that strong but it's just basically protecting the windshield from the you know from the splash from the mud if you go off-roading and I'm still sitting on a 32 so right now I'm sitting on a 255 70 18 so maybe down the road when I get a lift kit I probably can I guess switch to a, a 17 inch rims and then Hopefully I can get a 33 or 35. That's, like I said in the previous video, it's still on the budget. I just don't know when I'm going to do it yet. <laughs> uh, let's see. Next one is, oh, right there. The hood vent. Just uh, very functional and looks pretty decent. I like it. Uh, get, the, get the heat off the engine so your engine doesn't get, you know, too hot oh and then this right here 
honestly I forgot what it's called but it's actually for pushing air through for your uh, cooling for your AC and stuff because this Jeep has AC kind of have to because when you have kids uh, you know they get it gets hot in the summer even though you get the freedom top open or anything or actually when your freedom top is closed you know you have the it doesn't get too hot in Michigan but at least you get the AC so that's the front and then let's see the side I have replaced the step bumper with the rock slider again I got it from Amazon I haven't really tested out yet as far as like the durability of it it looks cool and I like it so that's I guess that's what matters and hopefully it holds up pretty good it's pretty easy to install just take the stop uh, step bumpers off and then just there's four bolts on each end well actually I have to get back two bolts in each end so total four I guess so yeah so that's not too bad I like it and I'm still chasing my badge I'm not like some people I don't go wheeling crazy because you know work and family so yeah I'm still chasing my uh, first one hopefully I can get it pretty soon uh, let's see we can go in the back same thing I replaced the fender flares and the fender liners and uh, nothing too exciting in the back just you know that's the back oh and then uh, I've replaced the rear bumper too with the uh, EAG brand that I got from uh, again I got it from Amazon which is not too bad of a price it looks pretty good again I painted the D-ring just to match up the color of the Jeep so you know I'm about matching I guess I don't know kind of weird <laughs> uh, the next one actually the first mod I did to the Jeep was the antenna because I don't like the look of it of the stock you know that long antenna I just I never like it so I, I replace it <laughs> uh, let's see what else I don't know if you can see it inside nothing really to it and just I have my phone holder and then my tablet holder when I go wheeling I, uh, I hooked it up directly to my uh, phone using a hotspot or Bluetooth whatever you guys have or whatever I have actually but it works pretty good I test it out and I like it so it's actually kind of nice because you have your phone and then you have your tablet and then you can run your map I don't have a paid subscription on uh, or anything for those uh, trail maps but I'm gonna try to use Gaia because I heard a lot of good things about it and I know a lot of people use it so we'll see because it's all about personal preference and then uh, they're they're pretty good so like I said I'm gonna try to use Gaia and then see how far does it take me hopefully again I don't get stuck because I don't have a winch yet it's still down the road I'm gonna install it or you know I'm gonna purchase it then install it obviously same thing with a lift kit there's a couple of choices that I want to get as far as like how high the Jeep is gonna get lifted or uh, you know the brand the price it all comes in play so yeah other than that everything is just it's kind of dirty right now I don't know if you can see it there's you know obviously it's a Jeep there's a uh, dirt on the floor but no, nothing to it. It's just a stock Jeep still. So, like I said, hopefully I can uh, put more into it down the road. As far as the engine, I don't do anything to it because I figure the, the engineer and uh, Chrysler, I figure I trust them enough. And then if something happened to the Jeep, I can just take it to any shop. Or, you know, in my case, I go to... Uh, a special, you know, people that knows a lot about Jeep. And uh, so V6, uh, I believe, is a 3.8 because it's a 2011. And I know they switch it 
in 2012. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, So, but that's what I learned so far. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just a short video. So, all right. Well, don't forget to uh, like the video and click subscribe in the bottom. And peace out.